My Corner Pantry. Welcome back. Keeping you up to date around the clock. Here's tonight's WIS 7 at 7. Hundreds came out to Fort Jackson National Cemetery to remember their loved ones on this Memorial Day. The annual event was held this morning and featured Major General Jason E. Kelly with the United States Army Training Center and Fort Jackson. They spoke on the importance of remembering those who served our country not just today, but every day. In Sumter, one man is dead and another person injured after an early morning shooting. The county coroner identified the victim as 32-year-old Tavarius McFadden. Officers say that a white sedan drove up alongside the victim's car and fired into the vehicle. A picture provided by investigators is on your screen right now. As the nation's eyes are turned towards the race for the White House, here in the Palmetto State, the more pivotal election will be the June primaries in two weeks, with early voting for it opening tomorrow. If you're a registered voter in South Carolina, you've got a few options on how to cast your ballot for the primary. Head on over to WISTV.com for more information. During the holiday weekend, airports across the nation saw record travel numbers. The TSA screened nearly 3 million passengers nationwide on Friday, breaking the agency's record for most travelers passing through security checkpoints in a single day. A line is already forming for closing arguments in Donald Trump's New York hush money trial. Tents were set up as early as Sunday for people hoping to be in the courtroom tomorrow. The former president's defense will be up first. His team is expected to spend several hours explaining why they believe the government has not proven their case. More than 110 million people are spending Memorial Day under threat of dangerous weather. Forecasters track tornadoes and storms across multiple states with the day's collective death toll currently at 21. And the Riverbank Zoo and Garden has another new face this summer. The zoo welcomed two new flamingo chicks this year. The Riverbank's team posted on Facebook that their second flamingo chick of the season has hatched and is now on habitat with the flock. That's all for tonight, 7 at 7. They're so cute and they don't get their color until they start getting older. Yeah, that's crazy. I love yes. it. I need to head over there. Yes. I have not in a while, but obviously I think now this is a reason for all yeah. of us to make the <laughs> Two new baby chicks, so definitely a good reason to head out there. But all right, we'll be back with more primetime after this.